This is the eHealth Radio Network, your source for health advice on demand. And now your host, Eric Michaels. Thanks for joining us once again here on the eHealth Radio Network. This is your host, Eric Michaels. eHealth Radio gives you the most current health information, news, and advice featuring some of the leading innovators in healthcare and wellness who are changing healthcare as we know it. For more eHealth Radio reports, we invite you to visit our main radio channel site at eHealth Radio Network. Today we're speaking with, once again, Chrissy Regan, the wellness poet and founder of Mindful Moms Queensland. Chrissy is an author, speaker, and wellness coach based in Townsville, Queensland, Australia. And Chrissy, thanks once again for joining us here on E-Health Radio. Thank you so much, Eric. It's great to be back. And we feel the same and always good to hear from you. And thanks for all the valuable information that you've shared over the series of interviews with us here in the last few months. So for today, a question to start off with, why is good health necessary to enable us to self-actualize? Let's start there today. Thank you. Well, good health enables us to self-actualize or become the most that one can be because we're not having to spend our time dealing with illness of the mind, body, or spirit. You know, when we have good health, it's easy to take good decisions, push through in times of increased activity or pressure, and also go into flow state to create and innovate, look after those that need us, and so on. You know, all of these elements allow us to self-actualize on a personal, professional, and a spiritual level. Also, Chrissy, what lifestyle factors can be changed most simply in order to foster good health? Well, thank you. And I like to think that if we can understand our thoughts, our feelings, and behaviors, You know, this is key, and and these determine most of the decisions that we make in our life. If we want to foster good health, we can start by becoming mindful of our thoughts. Practicing awareness of our thoughts that are helpful versus those that aren't, and then recognizing the part our feelings play in our life. You know, our feelings or poor emotional health um, may cause us to make unhealthy decisions, such as emotional eating, using alcohol or drugs to feel better, and so on. You know, often I have found that an introductory program in mindfulness can start people on a journey to foster good health, along with recognizing that good food is fundamental for both physical and mental health, and that by practicing both of these consistently, we have the desire to be more active, to explore other areas of health, and to become accountable for our overall health. Yeah, the accountability is certainly a big factor there. Now, looking at healthcare, what do you see as the future of healthcare looking ahead? Oh, well, in utopia, for me, I see modern medicine and alternative therapies working hand-in-hand under one roof with practitioners sharing knowledge and treatment plans for individuals. I see general practitioners who are happy to refer a patient to a mindfulness coach instead of a script for anxiety medication or antidepressants. I also see nutritionists helping with health protocols in hospitals to boost immunity and help fight illness using food as medicine. I see healthcare systems which recognize many different modalities are helpful to individuals to overcome trauma, PTSD, grief, cancer, diabetes, and heart disease. I see supermarkets and food producers being more conscious of the health of society and starting to scale back the production of processed foods and increasing the education of their customers about the role food plays in daily life. And I guess, of course, all of this may seem unrealistic, but I do believe that we must overhaul our thinking in healthcare in order to overhaul our healthcare crisis, Eric. I certainly appreciate your input and some great information as well. Today, we are with Chrissy Regan, the wellness poet and founder of Mindful Moms Queensland, and she's joined us here today on eHealth Radio's Health News and Nutrition Channels, a part of the eHealth Radio Network. Now, Chrissy, what benefits can people gain from enrolling in your online wellness school? I'd like to hear some of your Uh, input on that yes well really i developed my online wellness school to share all the steps and information i have found and researched and implemented in order to gain and attain good health after a decade or more of poor health and i share this information in a helpful friendly and engaging way which is relevant to everyday people you know you don't need to be a scientist to understand it I studied science, but I'm a very practical person, so I enjoy gathering insights and information from a wide range of sources and sharing it with people in an easy-to-digest and helpful way. The online school follows the 12 steps of my book, Broken to Unbreakable, 12 Steps to Unbreakable Mind, Body, and Spirit, with a lot of other useful resources, downloadable content, as well as inspirational interviews from experts from all over the world. 
talking about aspects of health and well-being that are common and relatable for many of us. The benefits are that people can see results quickly because the information is shared in a sequential and practical way. And people will understand that a foundation of good health, physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual, is achievable and will enable them to live a healthier, happier life. People can understand that living well for longer is possible and that our longevity is dependent on decisions we make each day. And desiring good health is not a luxury, Eric. It certainly is not a luxury. Good point made right there. Now, if you could give one piece of advice to someone wanting to improve their health right now, what would that be? Just start making, just start by making a decision today that above all else you want to be healthy. You know, after that decision is made, things really start to fall into place. You feel ready to learn new information, learn your healthy habits. Uh, your, I'm sorry, to unlearn your unhealthy habits and to start to embrace opportunities to explore health in many different ways. You know, good health relates to our physical health, our mental health, our emotional health, and our spiritual health. And as I've said before, it comes back to my five pillars of good health. What we are eating, what we are drinking, what we are thinking, what we are feeling, and what we are doing. And when we understand these and practice good health consistently, amazing things happen. You know, we don't just get healthy and stay healthy. It takes practice. But as long as we decide we want good health, then practicing good health becomes much easier, Eric. Yeah, I like those five pillars there. That is powerful and some good stuff to conclude on. Chrissy, I'm sure listeners want to know how they can get more information accordingly, how they could tap into what you have to offer. Where can listeners get further information online? Thank you. So they can... Visit my uh, website, thewellnesspoet.com, as well as my Facebook page and Instagram, The Wellness Poet. You know, really, um, my top tip is decide that they want to be healthy for you. It's not a luxury to be healthy. It's a necessity. And your health really should be non-negotiable. With good health, anything is possible in your life. Tools that can help you gain and attain good health is really the best investment you can ever make, Eric. I encourage people to go to my website, thewellnesspoet.com, and see how they can be a part of my wellness movement. And we certainly thank you for that. And listeners, this link will also be included within the show notes of this broadcast. It is thewellnesspoet.com. Chrissy, all the best. And look forward to having you back with us in the future right here on E-Health Radio. Thanks so much. Thank you, Eric. Have a great day. Take care of yourself. And thank you, you too. We've been speaking with Chrissy Regan, the wellness poet and founder of Mindful Moms Queensland. And she is based out of Townsville, Queensland, Australia. And for all the details, visit thewellnesspoet.com. And again, this has been your host, Eric Michaels. And we do thank you for your continued support of the E-Health Radio Network. Join us again soon for another episode that will help further expand your knowledge on those things that are important to your health and wellness. For more E-Health Radio reports, we invite you to visit our main radio channel site at ehealthradionetwork.com. And as always, we do thank you for... Tuning in. Thanks for tuning in to the eHealth Radio Network. For more information or to subscribe to this podcast, visit eHealthRadioNetwork.com.